All right, now, if you've been living under a rock for the past however long this trailer has been out, I don't know. But if you've been living under a rock for the past however long it's been, you 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 don't know you don't know anything about this, okay? This this is the most insane thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I I I, I was crying tears of joy just not even seven minutes ago. But we finally have information on Breath of the Wild 2. I don't even have to call it Breath of the Wild 2 anymore. It's called The Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom, coming May 12, 2023. Look at that. We have an official release date after however long it's been. I don't remember. But after all this time, we finally have information on the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Like, look look how insane this is. When, whenever this thing came out, I sat up in my seat. I was like, okay, I'm going to be crying now. We got every single Discord in the world going crazy right now. I'm getting spammed with notifications. So right here, we can see a bunch of enemies from Breath of the Wild. We have the Bokoblin, we have the Moblin, we have some dead guy, I don't know. But this just looks insane. I noticed that a lot of the artwork in this looks very similar to the Zonai. If you don't know what the Zonai is, it's it's an ancient tribe from the first game. You don't really know a lot about them, but you can see little bits and pieces of their lore scattered around Hyrule, especially in Farron. So I'm super excited to see if that's going to come back in Breath of the Wild too. But look at this. What does this mean? Is this a new boss? Is this like some kind of god? Either way, look, this design is absolutely insane. And in the first trailer, we did get to see Ganon, or if that was Ganon, it's probably Ganon Awaken. So maybe all those, maybe all that Tumblr art was right, and Ganon and Link are going to team up to fight whatever whatever this is, ending the the reincarnation thing. But I don't know. I kind of doubt that. It would be interesting though do we have zelda or something i guess <laughs> guys this video is this video is already a mess i don't even know what i'm talking about but here we have link he's opening the doors look at him go absolutely insane running off a thing and look at look look at my man look at look at look at his clothes what's with that thing on his hips are this kind of potions or like what's with the new bow the, the outfit the, the new hand this is so many things to look at at once so many beautiful things to look at look at the clouds that rock thing in the background cool it's it's cool. In this frame, you get a better look at the shield, and I have to say, it looks good. I, <laughs> but looking at this area right here, does this mean that we're gonna have different pieces of Hyrule lifted into the air? Because this this is snow. So does that mean we're gonna have different parts of land raised up in the air as different biomes, different temperatures, different climates? I don't know how that works. It would be cool. Like, say you can have one area that's part of Death Mountain and another area that's part of, like, Hebera or whatever, or Gerudo Desert. Uh, but I do really hope that the dungeons are in the sky. Like, they, they have to be in the sky. I don't know how they wouldn't be in the sky. We saw this in the last trailer, but this this massive thing. I don't know what this is. This has to be like a dungeon or maybe or maybe some kind of battle tower like we had in Wind Waker. Because the battle tower in Wind Waker, you go in and you just fight a bunch of enemies and you level up and it's insane. And by the time you get to the top, maybe you can get to some kind of boss or something. I do really like the reuse of the Skyward Sword jumping off the thing you know i don't know what i'm talking about i need help but what is is this a new rune maybe it'll be something like stasis honestly maybe maybe nintendo was watching speedruns and they were like okay we we need to hop on this bandwagon and we need to make this an actual thing and then they, they just created this Thund thunderstorm in the background look at that it's it's kind of scary but like i said earlier maybe we could have different temperatures and different biomes in the world we see link climbing up in the shot he looks pretty high up and i can see snow so maybe that means the higher up you get the snowier it gets the colder it gets if you've ever gone up really high in breath of the wild say you had a flying machine or you used a moon jump glitch you know that high up has really cold temperatures maybe that, that'll be something cool that we can get link walking up the side of a mountain or the side of these floating islands the higher up he gets the colder it gets so we can get like special armor or something i don't know it's, it's cool okay but this this shot right here is probably the most insane shot we've gotten ever. There's so many things to digest in this image. Like, firstly, we have Death Mountain. I can't even ignore Death Mountain. Look, what is that volcano doing? My man. <laughs> that is not normal lava. There's no way that that's normal lava. That's that's not a thing. And we can also see Hyrule Castle being lifted up in all its glory. Look at that. But I don't see any Sheikah Towers. I think the Sheikah Towers are going to be removed for this game. Maybe maybe they went back in to the ground, you know, after the events of Breath of the Wild. Their duty was done, so they left. To the far right of the screen, this absolutely massive island. That's insane! 
insane! That has to be like a special area in the game. And then we can see a bunch of littler islands being scattered around the rest of the area. Kinda crazy. We get a close up one of this. And then we have Link jump on this, this metallic object. I don't know what this means. Oh! Okay, that did, that did not process at all what Link was doing the first time I watched this. I was just, I was in disbelief that we were even getting a new trailer. That just stopped this out. But now looking back at this, this is Link gliding on a massive piece of something. What? What is this? Absolutely insane. I hope, I hope we can fly around the world with this, honestly. Maybe this can be something that you level up in the game to get, or just you get in the beginning, but then slowly level it up to be able to fly across the world. But I don't know. I feel like that would also take away from the walking around and horse riding of the original game. So maybe this can just be something like in Wind Waker, you have the King of Red Lions to get you from place to place, or like the Loft Wings in Skyward Sword. You would get on a loft wing and go to a different area of the map. Maybe that could be something that we have in Breath of the Wild too, going from the different islands. That we have this beautiful, ah, oh, oh God, Tears of the Kingdom, baby. We have a title coming into Nintendo Switch this 2023. It's exciting. I'm just excited. I'm so happy that this game is, is I'm gonna be able to play it. And I know when I'm probably gonna be able to play it unless it gets delayed. I'm happy, okay? So Sorry, sorry for this, the messy nature of this video. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>